Alright, let's do this. I'm looking good. All right, you're my videographer for the uh, for today. All right. Phew. How many of you guys here are gonna be uh, famous when you grow up? Any famous people here? Like one or two famous people? You're not videoing me. Oh. Come on, you're my videographer. You're supposed to be in charge here. All right. So no one's gonna be famous. Okay, cool. Well, you're in luck. I'm gonna be famous. Anybody want an autograph here? All right. Stop rushing me, stop rushing me, I got you, here you go, don't worry, stop rushing me, okay? There you go. Alright, hold on to these, because I'm going to save Alright, you can get it after, oh wait, one more, okay, fine, fine, fine. A little bit there. Alright, so, I was convinced. I was, con I was convinced I was going to be a rock star by this time, right? So I was going to uh, learn drums. So when I was young, I learned how to play drums. It didn't go well. I didn't learn how to play drums. I was horrible at drums. There was no problem. I learned how to play the clarinet. I wasn't good at the clarinet. So no problem. I went on to, to voice lessons. I was going to be a singer, like a rock star. Yeah! Like stand in front of people and just like entertain by being a rock star. No. No, that didn't work either. So I took I took piano lessons, I took guitar lessons, I took um, lessons in all these instruments because I was going to be a rock star, and it, it didn't work. But it didn't matter. I was like, okay, cool. I'll, I'll just keep going to I'll just keep going to rock shows. It'll be fine. I'll like um, I'll, I I I don't need to actually be a rock star. I just need to like be in the environment of it. So I got a master's degree in graphic design, which led to working at, at Adidas. Okay, well, yeah. when I worked at Adidas, I got free shoes. So these shoes didn't cost me. Pulled them out of the back warehouse, and they were like, these shoes have never been worn. They're patent, blue patent leather. Do you want them for free? Like, they're, 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 they're from 1997 and never been worn. Anybody here from, like, born before 1997? No. No. So these shoes are older than you, and they've only been started being worn, like, a year ago. How crazy is that? But I was like, okay, I want to move on from there. So I started working at Lucasfilm. Anybody here like Star Wars? Yeah. A couple of Star Wars, yeah. So I was working at Lucasfilm with Star Wars, and I was working on merchandise like this. So that's my name on there. So I made shirts that had my name on it, had your name on it. Like, you could customize the shirt to, like, the audience. And I was also getting paid, I was also getting paid to, like, hang out in the toy area. You're doing great, by the way. You're, you're an amazing videographer. Like, it's amazing. so tired. You can, like, like, there are people that get paid to do this. Can you imagine that? Sitting there just videographing, like, paid to do this. That's not bad. Right. Anyway, so... But I, I had bigger hopes. I was like still like planning on getting into the music industry. Um, so I have a bunch of I have a bunch of musicians that I love, like a bunch of like Bay Area bands that I'm like crazy passionate about. So like like write these names down. I think they're up and coming. Like the Soft White Sixties are cool. The Family Crest is cool. Travis Hayes, Before the Brave, like all these bands that I'm crazy passionate about. And I was like, all right, I got to figure out a way to do design and like get into um, shows. So I wrote a five part survival guide about how to like design for musicians. Musicians do music really, really well and I do design really well. So I wrote all these books about telling musicians how to design better. So, um, so I started going to lots of shows. So I have like wristbands here from all the shows that I've gone to. There's 15 wristbands here. Anybody have a guess how long it took me to get 15 wristbands? About three bands per wristband, so any guesses? 40? 40 weeks? 45. How about five days? I got all these wristbands uh -huh. in five days because I was in Austin, Texas last week and they had this you conference one in the called... Floor. Oh, good. I almost only had 14. Um, okay, 15 have wristbands. You have 14. We'll think about it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> um, so I have 15 wristbands that I got in five days. That means I was going to about three shows per day and I was getting paid to do it. It's not that bad, right? That bad? So, so imagine like you could get paid to like take your iPhone to a concert and take lots of social pictures and post them on the web next day. People get paid for doing that. 
people get paid for like bringing cameras around and like videographing an entire concert. So like whatever your passion is, like if it's if it's writing, if it's photos, if it's doing videos, if it's um, making music, being, yeah, making music and being artistic, you can find a niche for that in the music That's industry sound. because there's 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 all these levels that people will pay you for your passion. So like oh. you figure out whatever you're passionate about and you make yourself like really 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 good at that. Like you get paid more than the other person who is only okay at that. And then you get even better at it and better at it, and people just know you for doing that, and then you get paid more. So, but what I really love doing is going to conferences and learning. So um, these are all people that I've drawn. Yeah, and I say, okay, this is what all these people look like, and I'm going to capture it in a drawing, and then I'm going to try to like capture everything that they said. Um, anybody think they could do this? I think you can do it. Ah. Uh. Yep. You're my you're my assistant today. So I draw draw a picture of me. I'm looking good. So. All right. <laughs> First start with my head, which is a good idea. That's my hair, I think. Okay. Okay. Here's my head. Yeah. Good. Nobody helped you yet. Here's my eyes. It's cool. Yeah. Someone should pay her. Quick, someone give her money. Um, so, uh, sidebar, this doesn't relate to any of this. But you saw that she drew my beard. Um, so I, I, I always take these little video things because I want to like capture what I was doing. And I one day decided to take a video of like how to like to to trim your beard. And anybody here need, need beard advice? Like if you, if you don't want advice about school, I can help you with your mustaches, help you with your beards. Anybody need any help on that? Need a beard trim. Okay, okay. You just just let me know. I'll, I'll tell everybody. You can you can uh, Google Stefan Aronson. And you can find my uh, how to curl your mustache. Thank you. Have a job that you've been great. Really you were good okay. too. Thank you very much.